All right, so let's go back to this uh, Ray Fisher Warner Media investigation because some pretty uh, big news has dropped. Um, so it's been mostly quiet ever since uh, Ray Fisher, you know, called out Walter Hamada after he was written out of the Flash, and um, you know there hasn't been much noise. But that all changed when one actress who has worked with Josh Sweden who participated in the Warner Media investigation, decided to come forward via Twitter and uh, once again, expose the director and, you know, back Ray Fisher as supporting his claims. So here's the tweet from Charisma Carpenter, my truth, hashtag I stand with Ray Fisher. I won't, ex I won't read the whole thing because it, it's pretty lengthy and it goes in, into detail and it's pretty sensitive. But I will highlight this section of the tweet. And it reads, recently I participated in the Warner Media's Justice League investigation because I believe Ray to be a person of integrity who is telling the truth. His firing as Cyborg and The Flash was the last straw for me. Although I'm not shocked, I'm deeply pained by it. It troubles and saddens me that in 2021, professionals still have to choose between whistleblowing in the workplace, and job security. It has taken me so long to muster the courage to find to make this statement publicly. The gravity of it is not lost on me. As a single mother whose family livelihood is dependent on my craft, I'm scared. Despite my fear about its impact on my future, I can no longer remain silent. This is overdue and necessary. It's time. So, more proof more witnesses, more evidence that maybe Ray Fisher isn't lying. And I've never once really accused him of it at all. Um, I just, you know, I, 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 I think again about how, how careful Ray Fisher has to be with this information that's being shared from these brave individuals and you know, the fight that he's trying to, you know, win with uh, not just not just Warner Brothers, but with this uh, work culture in Hollywood. And it it definitely it definitely, uh, you know, once again, puts Warner Brothers in a bad light and Joss Whedon as well. You know, you could be a fan of his uh, work, a fan of his films. But I think back to a quote that Steve Wozniak, played by Seth Rogen and Steve Jobs said about, it's not binary. You can be decent and gifted at the same time. And it's becoming more and more clear that that's not Josh Whedon. It's not. Okay. You can still be a fan of Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron, Ultron uh, Serenity, and Buffy. Uh, but yeah, I, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know how Walter Hamada doesn't come out and apologize to the witnesses of the justice league investigation. Um, because this is, uh, yeah, this is a uh, very, very unfortunate, unfortunate. Is it surprising? Not that really. You know, shit like this has been going on in Hollywood for decades, but it's a new world out there. So anyways, just wanted to share that update with you. Ray Fisher, keep fighting a good fight. We're with you. And um, yeah, can't wait for your cyborg character in Snyder Cut. It's going to be awesome.